Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, Miss. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Appreciate it that you are on time. Very nice. Very good. Uh, let's see, let's see. My goodness, we are only 11 participants. Now we are 12. Okay, so creo que se les ha pegado la colcha. Y quiero ver en el grupo, tenemos just one message today. Okay, so we are about to start. Okay, thank you so much for uh, your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. And let's start, let's take advantage of the time and let's do it, right? So let's see, uh, Ronald Rafael, tell us, Ronald Rafael, uh, what is uh, today date? I very, my date is very heavy in the work because I am ready for the, uh, for the class. Okay, okay, I understand Ronald Rafael, you were with a heavy, heavy, difficult day because of your job and all the activities, right? Okay, no problem, no problem, Ronald. Let's see, one more time, okay? Listen, listen to the question. Uh, let's see, Freddy Alberto. Freddy Alberto Paz, tell us, what is a today date? Listen to the question, what is today date? I will put it right here in the chat. What is today date? Uh, Freddy Alberto. Hello. <laughs> Uh, my day is uh, very quietly. Okay, so your day was very like, I don't very know, light. like it, like, I don't know. So your day was kind of fine, cool, light. That's, I guess, what you are trying to say, right? Like easy one, okay? Oh, like easy, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, okay, no problem. Let's see. Mm, vamos a ver, ladies, ladies, uh, Janessi, Alexandra. The same question that we have in the chat right there. What is uh, today date? Um, today is uh, Wednesday 26 from August. I don't know. Okay, okay, nice, okay. So that, that that is the question, right? So the date, okay? For example, if I say, what day is today? Ah, today is Wednesday, right? So the date, but in this case, uh, we are asking for the full date, okay? Not just saying that today it's Monday, it's more than that, right? So we need the date, we need the month, we need the year. Okay, so one more time. So today date. So the meaning of the word date in this case, that will be fecha, right? But the word also have a, another meaning, right? So date can be una cita, right? Usted me dice, um, you know what? I have a date this coming Sunday, right? So yo tengo una cita, right? So, uh, but in this case, What is a today day? Está preguntando la fecha, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la fecha? So, uh, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, today is um, Wednesday, July the 26th, right? With TH, okay? July the 26th, uh, 2023 or 2023, okay? It's correct. Say the date. Okay, so are we clear with the dates? Todos no podemos los días de la semana, right? No. Yes. Okay, so dates of the week, that is basic, 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 um, basic vocabulary, right? In case if you have doubts or if you have, you know, you are not quite familiar with the pronunciation or with the month or 
um, the dates. So please review that. That is basic vocabulary, okay? When you are learning English, so that is basic, right? Como los colores, numbers, um, eh, the dates, the month, uh, bears. So that is something important. I remember that I thought that I was like, saying to you that but it was not with this group después estaba reaccionando como a la medianoche que no había hablado eso con este grupo sino que con otro okay so it's kind of crazy because i need to keep in mind what i say here and then when i move to a different uh, remember what it what is the conversation that it was with the other group right so and i thought that i mentioned to you about the birds but yesterday I was checking and no I didn't mention that okay so in this course we need to know birds okay I don't know how many English birds do you know but we need to know at least I don't know a hundred uh, hundred it's mm, todavía muy poquito pero at least okay usted tiene que tener 100 verbos en la mente así Ya, yeah, verdad, para ayer. In English, of course, right? And also not just the bear, okay? We need to know the birds. When I say um, know the birds means um, know the vase form. Also, you need to know the simple past form or the past of the, past of the bird. Also, you need to know the past participle of the bird, okay? And if it is possible, you know the... The, the ing form, right? The progressive and, and the meaning, of course, right? So I don't know, okay? No me conteste, pero responda en su interior. ¿Cuántos verbos usted de verdad se puede? Pero de poderse no solo el verbo, sino como le digo, poder el verbo en su forma base, forma pasada, participia, si es posible, progresiva. E eso es saber el verbo. Okay, because in this uh, course, we are going to see the, the past of the birds, okay? And I guess at the end, we will see the participles. And if we don't know the birds, so we will be in troubles, okay? Something important is handle the birds, know the birds, okay? Master the birds in English, okay? With all the uh, different options that we have, okay? So... Como le digo, no me responda. Creo que por aquí tengo. Eh, deje ver. Sí, aquí está. Um, I have like a list of the 100 birds that are like the most used ones. Okay, in English. Lo okay, que ingresan los demás porque todavía faltan. Y no me gusta pasar asistencia cuando faltan un montón porque... Después medio mundo no tiene asistencia, okay? So, but I would like to share with you, okay? Let me see if I can do it right here. No, it's not here. Because I have that, that um, list in the computer. Yeah, it is right here. So, this is a document that I will be sharing with you about uh, burst, okay? So, the name of the document, it's like the 100 birds the basic or the famous 100 birds in English, okay? So I don't know if you already have a list of birds, probably yes, okay? So let me put it right here in the chat, okay? So you will receive it in this chat, okay? So right here in the Zoom. And I don't know if someone can send it into the WhatsApp group, it would be nice, okay? In that, in that way, you will have it. Um, this list in your phone, right? Or in the WhatsApp. So this is the top 100 birds mass usados. That's what it says in the, in the document, right? So try to see if you know all those birds. And if you don't know, like the 100 birds that are the most used ones, uh, please study the birds, okay? Start today. No diga, ay, mañana voy a abrir el documento. No, right? So start from today, okay? Start um, working on the birds because if we don't know the birds in past, for example, so we are not allowed, we are not able to talk in past, okay? No es lo mismo que usted me diga. Mire, 
yo estoy comiendo pupusas ahorita, que a usted me diga, mire, yo me comí cuatro pupusas ayer, ¿verdad? Que no es lo mismo. Aunque todo es lo mismo, pupusa, comer y, y la acción, pero no es lo mismo que usted diga que se está comiendo las pupusas ahorita, que usted me diga que se las comió ayer. ¿Ok? So, that, that means that, that that is important. That's why it is important to know the birds. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Muchas personas llegan a módulos un tanto más avanzados y se estancan. ¿Por qué? Porque no tienen el dominio de los verbos y los verbos son la acción en una oración, right? Like the same story in Spanish, right? So if we don't know the birds, we will be in trouble, okay? We will be like in a stop there, okay? So in English you say, I'm eating pupusas right now. So that will be ing right present continuous i'm eating okay or i eat pupusas every day mire vea escucha la conjugación del verbo i'm eating pupusas right now ing form right present continuous i eat pupusas every single weekend okay simple present i ate pupusas yesterday mire Simple past. I had been eating pupusas since I was a child. Present perfect. Okay. So did you get the idea? Estoy usando el mismo verbo, pero en la forma past presente, pasada, participia y eh, gerundio, como le dicen al ING, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, eso. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Luis Miguel. Uh, good evening, coach. I have a question. Yes. I, I don't know if it's possible that I can say send um, a little document with uh, some instruction about the how we need to know about the date. The okay, please. And the structure. <laughs> okay, Luis Miguel, please share the information if you want to, and you please uh, do it in the WhatsApp group will be nice, okay? That is something important. Sometimes we have something that we consider that is uh, useful. So please share that info in the WhatsApp group. Say, hey, classmates, look, I just find out this video, this information, this document. So I'm sharing with you in case if you have time to read it, okay? Todo lo que nos ayude a nosotros como grupo, mándenlo al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? No manden ahí los memes, bachambre. No, eso no nos sirve para el idioma, ¿ok? Ahora, si es un, un meme en inglés, se lo acepto. Mándelo, ¿ok? So, share it, I ¿ok? I used to share. But in English, right, Luis Miguel? Memes, but in English. Yeah. No, the, the document. <laughs> ah, ok, ok. So, ajá. Uh -huh. Ya vamos a ver. Ya voy a mirar acá yo en el grupo, ¿ok? So, Nice, okay, so ahí lo mandó Cloud, también el que yo reenvié, browser documents, PDF, it says right here. Okay, so Luis, nice. So as I told you, todo lo que usted considere, mire, un TikTok puede ser, pero es un TikTok enfocado a inglés, mándelo. Si es una cosa que nada que ver, no lo mande, pero todo lo que usted considere que abone a nuestro aprendizaje, please, ah, uh, Share that info, okay? Share that information. Uh, yeah, Luis. Uh, I, I have uh, some uh, websites uh, in order to practice the speaking. And oh, the really? Okay. Check the, the structure, the grammar, and, and the, the pronunciation. Flu the fluency and pronunciation uh, in order to improve the uh, speaking skills and, well, the grammar skills. Okay, so please, Luis Miguel, put it right there in the chat, okay, in the WhatsApp. Okay, so listen, classmates, we have information that is really useful, right? For everyone right here, remember that we are all trying to master the language, right? Trying to improve, trying to be better in my English, okay, the four skills. So English is divided in four skills, right? Reading, listening, uh, speaking and writing, okay? You need to be good in the four, okay? The four skills. 
no le vaya a pasar como unos estudiantes que llegan a niveles avanzados y dicen, mire, yo le entiendo, yo le escribo, yo le leo, pero no hablo. O mire, yo le entiendo, yo hablo, pero no escribo. O mire, yo escribo, medio hablo, pero no entiendo. No, right? So, you need to be good in the four skills, okay? All the skills. So, thank you, Luis. Please uh, share that info in the moment, the time that you have, you know, availability. So, go to those websites, okay? There are some apps as well that you can use. Also, there are there is la, like a dictionary that it's the word referenced. Ese, ese word reference es un excelente website para meaning, okay? No en español, no es traductor. Usted cuando busque una palabra, no lo busque como un Google Translator. No es a traducir la palabra, sino que es a buscar el meaning, el significado, pero en inglés. ¿Ok? En inglés. Así es como usted debe de buscar la palabra. Usted ve una palabra que no sabe, ponga, puede usar el Google, sí, pero póngale la palabra meaning. ¿Ok? Y puede usar el Word Reference, que es un website. Ahí está las palabras usted la puede buscar en chino, en japonés, en arameo, en lo que usted quiera, pero a mí me interesa que la busque en inglés, right? So you have the word reference and you have right there like examples, you have the pronunciation, see as British pronunciation, American pronunciation, everything, right? Also you have some examples, you have different meanings because you know that in English, sometimes we have one word but we have four different meanings, okay, for the same work. Una palabra puede significar cuatro o cinco cosas totalmente diferentes dependiendo de el contexto. Entonces, ese website que se llama Word Referenced, quiero ver si lo tengo aquí, no me acuerdo si en este teléfono lo, lo he visto, pero sí, aquí, aquí está, wordreference.com. So, en este usted lo puede configurar ahí para que... Quiero ver a dónde le doy. Share, 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 share. Copy link. Ok. So, now, eso de los verbos ir, dije que lo iba a mencionar ayer porque no, no se los había dicho, pero sí es importante que usted sepa verbos. Ok. So, ahí les mando el word reference. Ok. Ahí le digo, tiene French, Italian, German, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, todo lo que quiera usted idioma. Pero word reference for English, right? So, I'm going to pass the attendance antes que se me olvide, ahora sí. Ya vino el que tenía que venir y el que no vino, pues mi modo. Eh, ¿Dónde está la asistencia? Ok, denme un segundo que esta cuestión se deshabilita. Bien, uh, so the same story like always, right? So please uh, let me know if you are uh, here in the, in the class. Today is Wednesday the 26th, right? Okay, um, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, then we have Briseida Janet. Briseida, no? Eh, Carlos Adolfo. Present, Miss. Ok, thank you, Carlos Adolfo. Uh, Claudia Yesenia. Present. Thank you, Miss Yesenia. Eh, let's see, then we have Daniela Mercedes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Emanuel Efraín. Present, teacher. Thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, let's see, Evelyn Janet. Present. Okay, so nice. Um, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria, no está. Uh, Freddy Alberto. Present coach. Thank you, mister. Um, Glenda Lisette. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Iliana Mariel. Iliana Mariel. No. 
Eh, a Janessi, Alexandra. Present. Nice. Jefferson, Alexander. Jeffer. Mm -hmm. Then we have Jorge Mauricio. Present. Thank you, Jorge Mauricio. Then we have Jose Alberto. Jose Alberto. No. Dios mío, muchas inasistencias. Jocelyn Tatiana. Jocelyn Tatiana. Eh, Juan José. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, mister. Eh, Kevin Ariel. Kevin, no. Luis Miguel. I'm here, coach. Thank you. Uh, Rachel Esther. Rachel Esther. No. Rebecca Paola. Present Miss. Okay, so nice. Tratemos de no faltar. Eh, Ronald Rafael. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, mister. Roxana Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Eh, Sandra Noemi. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Sara Verónica. No. Bueno, miren que tenemos demasiada inas inasistencia. Ok. So remember, attendance is very important. Eh, no podemos faltar, o sea, permiso de falta no hay. Tiene que conectarse. Tiene que estar en, la, en las sesiones, ok. So, recuerde que ese es su pase, ¿verdad? Su pase del siguiente módulo. O sea, es prácticamente el 50%. Ok, so let me uh, share the screen really quick right here. And uh, we are going to continue, ok. So, let's see. Uh, remember that we are not going to complete everything, right? So this is something very basic, okay? So this is the verb B, okay? So the verb B is basic, basic, basic information that you already know, or at least you need to be clear on that, right? So we have right here statements with B and the possessive adjectives. Which ones are the possessive adjectives? The ones that denote possession, right? The ones that we say in Spanish, mío, tuyo, de él, de ella, right? De nosotros, esto es mío, dice usted, right? So that is possessive adjectives, right? When we are uh, denoting that something or someone belongs to something or to someone, right? So the statements would be, okay, so this is the bear to be. Yo creería que aquí no hay dudas o no tenemos problema. Ya vamos a hacer ese pequeño ejercicio acá para de revisar, pero yo creería que no. Ok, so let's see one of these examples that we have right here. We say, I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. Uh, we are in the same class. They are my classmates, okay? So these ones are the contracted way, right? So we have the contractions of, of B, so we know that this and this is exactly the same, right? The only difference is that one is contracted and the other one is called the full form, right? So it's the same saying I'm or I am, right? It's exactly the same. Your, you are. His, he is, she is, she is, it's, it is, where we are, they are, they are. So, ahí estamos bien. Usted sabe que esto es totalmente igual. Lo que cambia es la escritura porque uno está contractado y la otra está en su forma 
completa, okay? I uh, would recommend that every time that you are talking and when you are speaking, please try to use the uh, contractions, okay? So native uh, speakers, English or speakers, uh, native speakers, they always use contractions, okay? A veces por eso nosotros nos cuesta entenderles y usted dice, es que habla muy rápido, right? Because they always use contractions, okay? La contraction le va a ayudar a usted son, a sonar fluido, es decir, rápido, okay? So now when you are writing a letter or email or you're writing something formal, try to avoid the contractions, try to use the full form, okay? en un párrafo, carta, ensayo, escrito, lo que sea que esté haciendo, es más formal, se ve formal la forma completa que las contracciones, porque eso se denota informalidad. So, but then the, the, the e meaning and also the, the, uh, something else is exactly the same. Now, the possessive adjectives, we have my, your, his, her, its, or their. Okay, so let's see if we can complete this exercise. Let's see if we can do it together. Complete these sentences. Tell a partner about yourself. Okay, so let's see. Let's start. Um, let's see, um, Sandra Noemi. So please uh, help us with the number one. Read the sentence number one. Okay, Miss. My name is David Corsa. I am from Mexico. Family is in Mexico City. My brother, a university student, name is Carlos. Yeah, but you need to complete the, 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 the sentence. Okay, so the missing words, we need to add the correct answer. Okay, let's see. Um, Claudia Yesenia, the same, number one. So, aquí hay que poner el verbo, right? Um, sorry, teacher. But number one. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, number, number two? Number one, please. Number one, my name is David Garza. I'm from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Perfect, there you go, okay? My name is David Garza, I'm from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Nice, uh, Juan Jose, continue with the number two, please. My name is Sun Hi Park. I'm 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. My parents are in Korean right now. Perfect. Now, my name is Zuhi Park. I am 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. And my parents are in Korea right now. Okay. Very good. Let's see, number three, Roxana Marisol, please go ahead with the number three. Uh, uh, I am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me that. Uh, my last name is Silva. I student at City College. My parents, my on vacation this week in Los Angeles. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Bet. My last name is Silva. Y acá, ¿qué quedaría aquí? Este se lo saltaron por ahí. I am. Okay, I'm or I am, right? I'm a student city college, okay? My parents are on vacations this week. Eh, y aquí como quedaría? Ajá. Uh -huh. 
So, perfect. They are, they are in Los Angeles, right? Ellos están en Los Angeles, right? So, they are in Los Angeles, right? So, let's see. Uh, before to continue with the WH, quiero hacer un test, un radar aquí rápidamente para pasar del verbo to be porque considero que no hay problemas, pero quiero hacer la prueba, ok? So, let's see, verb to be, el verbo to be, esto es la clase 1 de allá de donde usted empezó sus clases, right? So, verb be, ok? So, listen, ponga atención. Tiene que estar en la jugada, ok? So, I'm going to start and then you are going to continue. So, listen, I'm going to say a simple sentence with the verb to be. And we need to know and we need to be able to mention or transfer or, tra or convert. Sería la palabra, convertir, convert the, the, the sentences from positive to negative to question and so on and so on, right? For example, if I say, I am a student, so that is a positive sentence, okay? If I say, I am not a student, so that one is negative sentence. And if I say, am I a student? That is a question, okay? So let's see another example. She is my friend. That is positive, right? She's not my friend. That is negative. Is she my friend? That is a question, okay? So, did you get the idea, right? So, I'm going to choose one classmate right now and I'm going to tell that person one sentence, okay? If I say a positive sentence, you will say the same sentence in negative, okay? If I say the sentence in negative, you are going to say it in, as a question. If I say a question, you will say positive, okay? So, positiva, usted va a decir negativa. Yo digo negativa, usted va a decir pregunta. Yo digo pregunta, usted va a decir positiva, okay? So, let's see. Um, vamos a ver, Emanuel Efraín. Emanuel, um, let's see. We are not colleagues. So that is your question, Emmanuel. We are not colleagues. So I'm telling you a negative sentence, okay? Si yo le digo una negativa, usted me va a decir la misma, pero en pregunta. Emmanuel okay. Efraín. La misma oración, no me cambie nada, ni sujeto, ni verbo, ni nada. Solo me va a cambiar la estructura gramatical. The sentence em, Efraín says, we are not Colleagues. College. Yeah, we are not colleagues. ¿Qué es colleagues? Um, not remember. How, how, how do you spell that word? Colleagues, my goodness. So did you get sí. the idea? Uh-huh. ¿Qué es colleagues? College. College. No, that will be college, okay? Teacher. I'm saying Kali. Ajá, uh -huh. go ahead. Lo vamos a poner. Ahí está en el chat. ¿Quién lo puso? Freddy. Yeah, I'm there college. you go. Okay. It's with double L. Ajá, uh -huh. double L. Y ahí está Miss Spell. Aquí se lo vamos a poner en el... En el it's Z-O-L-L-E-8. -L -E La eight le falta ahí. G. My you, teacher, my answer is, is positive. Kali. Your Emmanuel is a question. Ok, usted me ah, va a hacer question. la pregunta de la oración. We are not colleagues. Yes. Uh, no. Not are colleagues. Mm -hmm. No. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? We are not colleagues. This is la this negativa, is the right? So this is the negative. We are not colleagues. Yo necesito que usted me dé la pregunta. Esa es la negativa que yo le he dado. We oh, are not yeah. colleagues. Uh, they are um, the college? No. Mm, 
No, really, ahí me está cambiando el sujeto, they, y yo dije we. Vamos ah. a ver, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, le va a ayudar Carlos Adolfo. So, Carlos Adolfo, we are not colleagues. Are we colleagues? Ok, there you go. Are we colleagues? Ok, that's the question. Let's see. Jorge Mauricio, positive. La misma que traemos, pero usted lo va a dar positiva. Jorge Mauricio. We are colleagues. There you go. We are colleagues. Ok, so there you go. Negative, we are not colleagues. Question, are we colleagues? Positive, we are colleagues. Ok, nice. Veamos, otra. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina, if I say, um, is she your classmate? So that is a question, right? Ana Cristina, is she... Your classmate. That is a question. Usted me la tiene que hacer positiva. Um, repeat, please. Is she your classmate? Me está haciendo pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y quiere que yo se la dé positiva. There you go. Yes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes, Ana Cristina. Esto es el verbo to be. El verbo to be usted lo tiene que manejar al revés y derecho. Positivo, negativo, pregunta, respuesta corta, respuesta completa. Este yes. es juego de she sujetos. Uh -huh. Ahí un sujeto me está cambiando porque la pregunta dice ¿Is she your classmate? She is your classmate. Uh -huh. Yes, she is a classmate. She is, yes. she yes. is your classmate. Ok, ahí sería. She is uh, your classmate. Positive. Now, Luis Miguel, negative, the same sentence, but in negative. No, she is a classmate. She isn't your classmate. There you go, perfect. She isn't, she's not, right? She's not your classmate, nice. Freddy Alberto, let's see, Freddy Alberto. Uh, we are in the same class, okay? We are in the same class. So that is a positive. Now we need the negative, Freddy Alberto. We are not in the same class. Perfect. We are not in the same class. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, Daniela Mercedes, the question. Are we in the same class? Perfect. Are we in the same class? Okay. Nice. Let's see. Roxana Arisol. Uh, let's see. They are not together anymore. They are not together anymore. So that would be negative. So let's see the question, Roxana. Repeat, please. Yeah, they are not together anymore. Uh, the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will create the question. Nice. They are not together anymore. anymore. Are they together more anymore? Okay, okay, nice, okay. So, are, no, I'm sorry, that would be the question, right? Es la, la pregunta la que estamos haciendo, okay? Ahí se da, la, se da la inversa, okay? They are not together anymore, so negative, okay? Are they 
together. Play together anymore. Perfect, ok. So, estoy buscando aquí una, una imagen que tengo de la, de la fórmula, porque... Yeah. Quiero ver. Para que lo tengan, porque la verdad que, que, que esto es básico, ok. So, le vamos a mandar este, ok. So, aquí están las uh, positive, uh, negatives, uh, questions, contractions. That is important, ok. Let me see it right here in the group. Esto lo estoy mandando por si al caso, ¿verdad? Como decimos, por si las moscas. Pero en teoría, <coughs> esto le tendríamos que dar paso ya. Pero bueno. Eh, let's continue, ok, because of the time, pero el verbo to be es básico, ok. Now, let's see, we have uh, the WH questions, ok. Uh, what are the WH questions? ¿Qué, ¿Qué se acuerda usted de las WH questions? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es eso de WH um, Para hacer preguntas abiertas. Ok, ok, nice. So, WH questions are also called information questions, ok? Se llaman WH questions y también se llaman information questions, right? So, The difference between the yes no questions and the WH questions are the way that we answer, right? If it is a yes no question, the answer will be yes or no. Okay, yes or no, okay? Are you happy? Yes, I am. Are you hungry? No, I am not, right? So are we students? Yes, we are, okay? So that is... Um, Yes, no questions. Now, the WH questions are more are more deeply questions, right? That's why they are called information questions. Son preguntas de información, okay? And they are called WH because normally they start with a WH, right? Por eso se llaman así, porque todas, casi todas inician con WH, okay? So, let's see. What's your name? Oh, my name is Fulanito, right? Uh, where's your friend? Oh, he's in my class, okay? Uh, who's Zoom he? Oh, she's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They are very nice. So what is the meaning of this question? If I say, hey, what are your classmates like? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Qué le gustan sus compañeros de clase? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien más? ¿Cómo son tus compañeros de clase? Ah, there you go. Acá el verbo like no está como verbo. El verbo es este, el verbo to be. Aquí el like está como un adjetivo. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo son tus compañeros? No que le gusta a sus compañeros. No. ¿Cómo son sus compañeros? Ay, viera que son bien relajos. Ay, viera que son enojados, right? So, a eso va la pregunta, right? ¿Cómo son los compañeros? Okay. What are your classmates like? Ah, they are very nice. Okay. So, uh, where are you and Luisa from? Oh, we are from Brazil. Uh, how, or, how are your classes? How are your classes? They are really interesting. So what is the meaning of this question? How are your classes? ¿Qué le está preguntando? ¿Cómo son tus clases? ¿Cómo va, verdad? ¿Cómo va todo con tus clases? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo son? They ¿Cómo? are really interesting. They are really interesting. ¿Ok? They are really interesting. interesting. ¿Ok? No me vaya a decir interesting, ¿ok? Interesting, interesting, okay? They are really interesting, okay? So let's complete this part, okay? And for this, I guess we can go ahead and uh, create the, the groups, okay? Vamos a hacer esto porque ya hoy tenemos la tercera sesión y no hemos hecho los, eh, los classroom, right? So aquí en la aplicación de Zoom tenemos esa ventaja que podemos hacer pequeño grupo de trabajo. Lo vamos a hacer quizás ahora por completar el ejercicio, sí, pero más que todo para que usted conozca cómo, cómo funciona, ¿verdad? Aquí la, la opción. 
Eh, voy a crear acá, eso yo lo creo aquí rápidamente, manualmente y de manera aleatoria, ¿ok? Quiere decir que... Aquí está, Dios guarde, estoy ciega. So I'm going to create, let's see, four groups. Ok, I'm going to create four groups. Um, most of you will be group working in groups of four. Y solo creo que va a haber uno, ok, que va a trabajar de cinco. Eh, bye. Usted no tiene que hacer básicamente nada, ok. Por ser la primera vez, lo voy a explicar rápidamente así en español. En la plataforma de Zoom tiene la opción de crear pequeños cuartos, divisiones, pequeños salones donde usted va a llegar a trabajar con un compañero, ¿ok? Van a ser grupos de cuatro. ¿Qué va a hacer con el compañero? Re responder el ejercicio que le voy a enviar. Lo voy a enviar ahí al grupo de WhatsApp. En teoría, usted ya tiene el manual, ¿verdad? Yo se lo mandé. Usted en teoría ya lo tiene descargado, ya lo tiene ahí listo, ¿verdad? Para cada una de las clases que lo vamos usando. Pero si no lo tiene ahí a la mano, o porque usted está en esta llamada en el teléfono y es el que está ocupando para... Eh, recibir la clase, pues se entiende. Yo ahí le voy a mandar la captura de, de la imagen del ejercicio que usted va a responder. Ahí en el equipo usted no tiene que hacer nada. Cuando yo abra acá los salones, la plataforma de Zoom lo va a mover a usted de acá de la main room a otro grupo. ¿Ok? Le voy a dar cinco minutitos o menos, ¿ok? Para que responda eso. Cuando usted llegue al equipo, compañeros, ¿Qué ponemos en la 1? Lea a alguien la 1. A, B, ¿qué es? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es la WH question que le corresponde? Hacer esto en tres minutos. Igual, cuando yo cierre los salones, cuando yo cierre los grupos, usted no tiene que hacer nada. La plataforma de Zoom lo lleva y lo trae. Usted simplemente déjese llevar. Ah, qué chivo soy. <ríe> ok, so, ajá. Por si, lo, lo digo por si no han tenido la experiencia eh, usando Zoom. El que ya viene de grupo ya sabe cómo es esto. So, are we clear? ¿Está bien la indicación? ¿Sabe qué es lo que va a llegar a hacer? No vaya a llegar a preguntarle la novela al compañero. Tiene que llegar a responder el ejercicio porque solo tiene tres minutos para responder. Ok, de ahí lo voy a sacar y revisamos las respuestas together. Ok, so let me open the rooms and let's do it right now. And number two is A, where are you? She from B, she from Miami. Where is she from? Where is uh -huh. is where, is she, where is she from? Exactly. Where is she from? Only where? Oh, where's where's she from? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And number three, what's your name? What her first name or what's your name? I don't know. Sería, uh -huh. What's her name? What's your her first name? Or only what's her or what's your? I don't know. Who is the correct? What's her first name? What's her exactly? Your? Yeah. 
No. No, solo, ahí solo sería, creo que solo sería what, o oh, what is her first What, name. what is her Y este file, um, where are they from? Where are they from? Yes, yes, they where are, are where are they from? Yes, yes. and uh, number six, number six, Evelyn thinks is um, what no, how, how are they like? And I guess yes. what. What are they like? They are shy but very friendly. Yes. How? How are they like? Yeah, you say you think it's how are they like? And how I think it's like? what are they like? Maybe the two yes. questions are correct, but the teacher yes. can help us. This is correct. Yes. En la cinco es. ¿En cuál? En la cinco es. Eh, where are they? Le falta el are antes del they. Y en la seis también creo que le falta. How are they? Ah, sí, ah, porque sí. Son ellos, ¿cierto? Gracias. How, eh, en la cinco y en la. ¿En cuál otra dijo? En la seis. Donde how, dice, how, how are, are they? they like? Ah, sí. Ajá, porque no es, ajá, es en, en, en tercera persona. Okay, uh, welcome back, okay, nice, eh, ¿cómo les fue? That was the first uh, time so that we create groups, right? ¿Ya vio? Fue y vino sin preocuparse, voló, 
y se reunió con los compañeros y ya está aquí nuevamente. So, el tiempo es corto, ¿verdad? Yo, ahí estaba en el último grupo y ya estaban en la última. No sé si la terminaron al final, pero yo ingreso así a observar, a escuchar. Y ni, usted ni cuenta se da que yo lo estoy viendo. Ahí estoy en el grupo. Me meto a uno, me voy para el otro y los voy a visitar a todos. Eh, y, y, y sí, prácticamente todos estaban haciendo el ejercicio. Eso es lo, lo correcto, ¿verdad? Lo ideal no es que va a llegar usted a platicar de la novela porque no hay tiempo, pues, o sea, si fuera una clase de tres horas, tal vez si sí hubiera tiempo de platicar de la novela y mira y vos oh, y que allá, right? So, pero en this en this uh, one hour that we have, no hay tiempo. O sea, tiene que llegar al punto, vaya, compañeros, somos tres, somos cuatro en este grupo, empecemos. ¿Quién lee la uno? ¿Quién dice? ¿Qué dice usted? ¿Qué opina? ¿Qué ponemos, right? So that's the way that we are going to be working, okay? So, no le tenga pena al compañero, no le tenga miedo. Usted siempre eh, eh, puede, como le digo, participar. No se quede solo viendo, ay, que me den toda la copia, va, y yo solo escucho. No, yo tengo que opinar, participar. Ok, so uh, we have just three more minutes and I need to validate the attendance. Ok, so. Eh, los que no me contestaron al inicio, que son bastantes, por favor, confírmeme si están aquí, porque yo les dejo aquí falta y eso les va a afectar, ¿ok? So, the same story, I'm going to mention just people that is without the attendance, ¿ok? If you already have the attendance, so I'm not going to mention your name. So, let's see, Briseida, Janet. No está Briseida. Eh, Flor de María. Flor de María Sánchez. No. Eh, veamos. Liliana Mariel. Liliana Mariel Alvarado. Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson, no. José Alberto. José Alberto. Jocelyn Tatiana. Jocelyn Tatiana. Dios mío. Pensé que no me estaban escuchando porque nadie contesta que ha venido. Bien. Eh, Kevin Ariel. Kevin Ariel. Raquel Esther, Raquel Esther, Sara Verónica, mm, Dios mío, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, eight absence, my goodness, ocho faltas, bueno, yo sé que el que no está aquí no, no, no va a, a no va a ser, quiero ver Daniela Mercedes, Daniela Mercedes contestó asistencia. Daniela yes, Mercedes. teacher. Sí. sí, me ha escrito ahí en el chat. Eh, quiero ver aquí más participantes. ¿Será que alguien de los que mencioné que no tienen asistencia está y no pueden hablar? Pongan en el chat, o sea, si usted está y no tiene micrófono, de señal de vida ahí en el WhatsApp, donde sea, aquí en el chat. Hello, aquí estoy, ¿verdad? Porque yo estoy asumiendo que no. Freddy Alberto. No, pero Freddy Present. Alberto Present. Sí, ya, ya me había contestado. Así. Sí. Bien, mi modo. Entonces son ocho personas ahí que no, no están, pero no están. No hay que faltar, ¿ok? So, the time is over. Tomorrow we are going to start the class. With the answers, right? El ejercicio que usted ya completó. Mañana lo vamos a ver. Las respuestas que ustedes colocaron y continuamos, ¿ok? Y así vamos a ir. No nos vamos deteniendo en cada pelito del manual porque no, no, no nos va a dar el tiempo. Vamos al grano, al punto, la parte importante de gramática. Uno, dos ejercicios. Lo vemos aquí. Seguimos y así vamos a ir, ¿ok? So, please work in the platform. Do not forget that you need to work in the platform, section number one and section number two. 
And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? The same link, the same time, the same everything, okay? So now we say bye-bye, good night, see you tomorrow. Well done. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow.